The third grade guarantee requires all third graders to take a reading test, and if they do not pass the test, they must retake the third grade. Testing will begin in kindergarten so that schools can see which students may need extra help. Here's what WOSU news station based out of Columbus says about the third grade guarantee. Ohio soon will uh, guarantee or at least try to guarantee that all third graders can read proficiently. Lawmakers have passed the so-called reading guarantee. The measure is not quite as tough as the one proposed by the governor, but after a one-year waiting period, it still would hold back third graders who could not read proficiently. Democrats and school leaders say the mandate is an unfunded burden on school districts. Jeanette King is is requiring third graders be able to read before they go to fourth grade a burden on school districts? I think it's something that we should all strive for and it was the right stake to put in the ground. But the question is, how do you make that happen? It's not happening now. What needs to be put in place? And so the fact that this new requirement is being put on at the same time that in this biennium, school districts are going to have $3 billion less to educate kids, I think it does present a new challenge, a new burden, at a time when they are making cuts for you know, some of their very basic services. Some pros of the third grade guarantee is that it allows students to be better prepared before moving on to the fourth grade. It calls for new and improved standards in schools. And it also would be good to be able to identify the students at an early age that are struggling. Some cons of the third grade guarantee is that classrooms could become too crowded. Unified testing can be very inaccurate, especially at this age. And it puts a lot of pressure on students, which could be detrimental to their health. Here are some other opinions about the third grade guarantee. One advantage I think the third grade guarantee has is that it tries to create some type of accommodation for the different types of learning, but it doesn't accurately gauge all the different types because one test can't encompass every part of a child's learning. A pro would be we're trying to get everyone to the same level in education in America, but a con is that you can't base that on one specific test. I think it's good that uh, kids should have to pass a reading test in the third grade so they are better prepared, you know, for higher grade education, you know, in middle school and high school. But I also think it's bad because some kids aren't really that equipped to take a test, especially at that young age, and it could be kind of discouraging for kids to know that um, if they don't pass a the test, they'll fail, you know, after they did a whole year of school and have to retake it. I think it would be bad at the beginning because it would be a lot of kids in third grade so we would need more third grade teachers because the classes will be too filled and then it may be good in the long run because eventually the younger classes will get the hint and start teaching them things at a younger age so they'll be more advanced. You're never going to have that child left behind so he's always going to be into that fourth grade level by the time he gets to fourth grade. And also there's going to be a con to that and the con is going to be, I guess it may not be the students that's got that can't pass the test and maybe the teacher that's trying to teach him so if the student can't pass the test because of the teacher it's really not the student's fault I think a pro of the third grade guarantee would probably be that it would be a really good assessment of where a student is um, versus where they should be but I think a con of it might be that if they had a bad day that day or um, maybe were smarter in other areas or could still succeed it might give a bad representation of them and um, might force them to take the third grade again if they didn't need to. A major con of the third grade guarantee is that it puts a lot of pressures on students to do well on one test. If they don't do well on this test, they are going to be held back in third grade, which is scary for a lot of students. And a lot of students are not good test takers, so even if they do poorly on a test, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are bad readers or they can't read. <laughs>